Hey everyone, so I'm so excited about today's video because it's a video that I've been meaning to film for literal years. <laughs> it's just one of those things where I never got around to it and also in the back of my mind I was always like I would love for this video to be sponsored by Audible. <laughs> it's happened which I'm so excited about. So this video is sponsored by Audible so I'll talk about them in a second but yeah I'm just so excited about this sponsorship because I've been using Audible for years. And anyway, so today's video is talking about my favorite audiobooks. These are my top, top audiobook recommendations. If you don't know, I listen to so many audiobooks every year. It's definitely how I get a lot of my reading done because I can multitask and stuff. So I highly recommend all of these books and specifically the audiobook because I feel like these audiobooks enhance the reading experience and they're just amazing. So I'm so excited to talk about them and yeah. So like I said, this is sponsored by Audible. If you don't know, Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment and audiobooks and Audible has thousands of titles so they have everything from bestsellers to new releases to fantasy, romance, horror, true crime, just so many audiobooks to choose from. And they also have original entertainment and they now also have podcasts. And Audible have just launched their newest plan which is Audible Plus. So with Audible Plus you get full access to their Plus catalog and that is filled with thousands and thousands of select originals, audiobooks and podcasts including ad-free versions of popular shows and exclusive series. So with Audible Plus you can get everything you want to listen to in one app which is so amazing and you can also download or stream without limit so you can even listen offline anytime anywhere. So to use your Audible membership you just have to download the Audible app. It's free and can be installed on all smartphones and tablets and you can listen across devices without losing your spot which is also amazing. Audible Plus is all about giving members a chance to listen to and discover new favorites and explore different formats. You might discover a podcast you've never considered before and end up loving it and like I said earlier I've been using Audible for years. I just love the huge range of audiobooks to choose from. I love the app and how you can really alter the speed of the audiobook. You can even listen at 2.1 times speed, 2.2 times speed and it goes up to 3.5 times speed which is amazing because I know a lot of us want to increase the speed to the audiobooks we're listening to and I'm the type of person who loves to multi task so if I'm cleaning or cooking I love to have an audiobook going because it helps me feel inspired and it's also just a great way to fit reading in if you have a busy schedule and if you're feeling lonely I feel like podcasts are perfect for that because you just have like someone talking to you in your ear and it's just amazing. So one of my favorite audiobooks on Audible is The Black Flamingo by Dean Adder. This book <laughs> is just amazing. I have talked about this book before, I think I vlogged when I read it, but if you don't know, this book is written in verse. It's stunningly written and it's about this mixed race gay teen who is coming to terms with his identity and we also follow him through university. So he learns to love himself and embrace his uniqueness and it explores so many important topics like racism, homophobia, sexuality, gender identity and so much more. It's just such an amazing book. So powerful and the audiobook is amazing too because it's narrated by the author and that is like my favorite thing when the audiobooks are narrated by the author because obviously the author knows how to tell the story best because they're the ones who wrote it, you know? And it makes the reading experience even more personal because the author is reading it to you. So I highly recommend that audiobook. So if you want to listen to The Black Flamingo or any other of the titles available on Audible, visit audible.com slash books with Chloe or text books with Chloe to 500 500 to start your 30 day free trial. So once again, you can go to audible.com slash books with Chloe all in one word or text books with Chloe to 500 500 to start your free trial. That link and information will also be in the top of my description. And yeah, thank you so much Audible for sponsoring this video. It's honestly a dream. And yeah, so let's get into my other audiobook recommendations. So I have kind of categorized these recommendations into genre. So I already recommended The Black Flamingo, which is contemporary. So I'm just going to continue with some more contemporary audiobook recommendations. So The Henna Wars is an amazing audiobook. I love the story and the audiobook really brought it to life. So this is why contemporary and it's LGBT plus, it's a romance and I love it. Our main character Nishat is Muslim and she's a lesbian and she comes out to her parents, but they're not super accepting because they say that Muslim girls should not be lesbians. And then one of her childhood friends comes back into her life and you know she's happy to see her but then they kind of become enemies because they have rival henna businesses and it's really amazing as well because the book discusses cultural appropriation and I think that was an amazing discussion that was had and there's also the romance element and I just love it it's such an amazing audiobook so highly highly recommend that one the next audiobook that I recommend is Darius the Great is Not Okay and this was such a memorable reading experience because I read this for the reading rush I think two years ago and I read the audiobook in one day because the audiobook is amazing and the story is amazing. I just love this story. It's basically about Darius and Darius is biracial. He's American and Persian and he struggles with that because he feels like he doesn't fit in anywhere and I just really related to the story and Darius ends up going to Iran actually in the book so I really loved that 
as well because we get to see him in America and also in Iran. And he's honestly dealing with a lot. He has depression, he has complicated relationships with his family. There's just so many important themes that this book explores and I just love the way the story is told. There's also some really heartwarming moments and I love like the friendships. I just love it. So this will always be a memorable audiobook listening experience for me because it was just so impactful. Okay, so my next recommendation is With the Fire and High by Elizabeth Acevedo. And this is another audiobook where it's narrated by the author. So Elizabeth Acevedo narrates the audiobook and I just love it so much because Elizabeth Acevedo's voice stunning. <laughs> like, so good. So it made the reading experience that much better. And this book follows Amoni who is in high school and she has a baby. And this is actually the first book I read that follows a teen mum. So she obviously struggles with trying to balance school and obviously being a mother too. And she also just really loves baking. And I just feel like it was such a wholesome book, but it also explores important themes. That's like my favourite thing. So once again, highly recommend. Okay, so my next recommendation is Simon vs. The Homo Sapiens Agenda. I love this book. I've listened to the audiobook twice because I listened to it the first time, obviously and I just loved it and you know if you don't know this is about Simon I'm sure you know the story because it's so popular but it's about Simon who is closeted and someone finds out that he's gay because he's exchanging emails with this other guy and he's getting blackmailed and anyway it's just an amazing coming-of-age story I just literally love it it makes me so happy so yeah I listened to it the first time loved it and then I think like two months later I listened to it again because I just love the audiobook it was like so comforting to me obviously I love the story it just everything so I highly recommend it and if you haven't tried the audiobook definitely try that because I just love the narrator and the way that the story is brought to life. I feel like I keep repeating myself, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, my next recommendation is another audiobook that I listened to twice, and that is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. Such a beautiful, stunning coming of age story once again. And this also follows a gay teen who is basically just trying to understand what it means to live and, you know, what's the meaning of life. And he's trying to understand himself and the people around him. And I just think it is just the most beautiful story. It makes me both happy and sad. And like I said, I've listened to it twice because it's so good. And the audiobook is narrated by Lin-Manuel Miranda. So it's just amazing. <laughs> okay, my next recommendation is actually contemporary sci-fi and it's adult, an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green. I loved this book. It was so fun when I listened to it. So in this book, these Carls just show up across different parts of the world. And the Carls are these mysterious, like 10 foot tall transformer things. So of course this shocks the worlds and no one knows what is going on <laughs> and where these things came from. And April, the main character, is the first person I think to report about these Carls online. So she makes a quick YouTube video and posts it and then she kind of like blows up overnight. And then she kind of becomes like the spokesperson for the Carls. So it's just so interesting because she's learning to deal with this like quick fame and she's suddenly being asked to go to these interviews and she's obviously suddenly making a lot more money and stuff and it's just so fascinating because obviously there's a lot of instances where people just go viral overnight and I find it so fascinating for someone to have written a book about you know the impacts of that and how it feels to deal with that and the story with the Carls is also just so fascinating um it's definitely light sci-fi which I really loved and yeah it was just so good and I really enjoyed the narrator of the audiobook so yeah, just highly recommend it. Okay, so then of course I need to recommend The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas because this audiobook is amazing. The narrator is so good, absolutely brings the book to life and I highly recommend reading the book that way if you can because it's just amazing and makes the story even more powerful in my opinion. And I'm sure most of you know what The Hate You Give is about, but this book is inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement. It explores police brutality against black people in America and Star Carter trying to bring justice to something that happened to a friend. And it's just such a powerful story. And like I said, the audiobook makes it even more powerful because the narrator is just so passionate. And then another audiobook recommendation I have is actually written by the same author and narrated by the same person. So that is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas, which is also amazing. I love On the Come Up. In On the Come Up, we follow 16 year old Brie who wants to be a rapper and she actually does rap throughout the book. And I love how the narrator like raps it too, obviously. So that's another reason why I really recommend this audiobook because it brings the rapping element to life. So yeah, Angie Thomas is just amazing. This narrator who narrates the audiobooks is amazing. So now I'm going to move on to historical. I guess this category could also just be called Taylor Jenkins Reid <laughs> because I have two Taylor Jenkins Reid books to recommend. <laughs> so the first is Daisy Jones and the Six, of course. I've listened to this audiobook twice and I physically read it once. And it was definitely interesting to physically read it because I got to annotate it and stuff but the audiobook is 100% the way to go if you can listen to the audiobook because it is such a unique 
way to tell a story. Basically the book is told in interviews so the book is just filled with dialogue and the book has multiple narrators too which is my favourite thing. So this is probably like my top audiobook recommendation honestly because I just love it. The way that the story was completely brought to life, I know I keep saying that, <laughs> but it really was just so amazing. So if you don't know Daisy Jones and the Six it follows this band who was really popular in the 60s I believe or maybe the 70s. Let me just quickly check. Okay so the book follows an iconic 1970s rock group. So they were absolutely popping in the 70s like everyone loved them they were so huge and then they kind of had an abrupt breakup and I think 30 years later someone gets an opportunity to interview all the bandmates. So they get to talk about their time in the band and also why they broke up and everything and it is so fascinating. All the characters are so different and flawed and I love exploring flawed characters because everyone's flawed obviously. So I love how authentic the book feels and you know the relationships between the characters and there's just so many emotions and I love the band aspect because I do find it so interesting to learn about like you know popular bands even though this is fictional it feels like they're a real band. And like I said the book has multiple narrators so each band member has a different narrator so you always know who's talking and I just love it. It's so good. So then I'm just going to quickly mention The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo this once again follows someone famous so this is about Evelyn Hugo who was a super famous actress and she had seven husbands throughout her life so people were always so curious about her life and all her different husbands and Evelyn Hugo is now an old woman and she's finally ready to tell her truth and her story to this journalist so we get to learn all about Evelyn Hugo's life and it's just amazing and a lot of people talk about this book for good reason because it's such a good story and I just remember the audiobook being so captivating and so well done. So yeah. <laughs> okay so now moving on to some fantasy audiobook recommendations. I have Strange Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. These two books make up the Strange the Dreamer duology. One of my favorite series of all time. It's amazing. <laughs> I love Strange Dreamer so much and the audiobooks are so good and make the experience even more magical because Lainey Taylor's writing is just so stunning and then the narrator has a really nice soothing voice so it just like brings it to life. I'm sorry that I keep saying that. And if you don't know this book follows Laszlo Strange who has always dreamed of this city of Weep and he's dedicated a lot of his life to researching the city and how he can possibly get there even though most people think it's a myth and one day he gets the opportunity to go there. That's all I'm gonna say but it's amazing. It's one of my favorite books. It was my favorite book for a while. I just think it's one of the most beautiful stories ever. I love the characters so much. I love the themes that the book explores it's next level. Okay so then I want to recommend Shadow of the Fox which I read kind of recently I think last month and I loved the audiobook because it was so fun. This is such a fun fantasy series and the audiobook just makes it even more fun in my opinion. We have two narrators because we have two different perspectives in the book. So we have the perspective of Yumeko and the perspective of Kage. So we have the two narrators like I said and it's just so good. And in this world there is a scroll that can summon a dragon every 1000 years and when you summon that dragon you can ask for for like any wish basically. So a lot of people want this scroll but the scroll has actually been torn up into I believe five pieces so people are trying to get all the pieces together so they can get the wish. So the story is about that and Yumeko is half Kitsune which is so cool because I love Kitsune and Kage is a demon slayer and they have opposing goals but they end up having to kind of work together but like I said they have opposing goals so it's a super interesting dynamic and they're just so different and I just love it. Anyway it's just so amazing and I just had so much fun listening to the audiobooks so 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 good. Okay so now I want to recommend the audiobooks for Children of Blood and Bone and Children of Virtue and Vengeance. These are the first two books that are out in this series so far and they are so good. The audiobook is amazing because the narrator is amazing. <laughs> so if you don't know this is a West African inspired fantasy series and in this world there's like no magic but there once was magic and Zeli is on a mission to bring magic magic back and to strike against the monarchy and it's just an amazing book filled with political intrigue, amazing characters, an amazing world. It's so fascinating to learn about the magic system and oh it's so good. I physically read it the first time and I listened to the audiobook the second time I read Children of Bottom Bone and I really felt like the audiobook just really, <laughs> I don't want to say brought it to life enhance the reading experience. So yeah, once again, highly recommend these. Okay, and my last fantasy audiobook recommendation is The Prior of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This is a huge book. I think it's like 900 plus pages. So it's intimidating, but the audiobook is amazing. So if you're intimidated, I highly recommend the audiobook. And even if you're not intimidated, I highly recommend the audiobook because it's a really good audiobook. So this is a fantasy standalone. And because it's so long, obviously there's a lot going on. So I always find it hard to like, 
fully summarize this book, but basically I just like to say like the tagline, a well divided, a queendom without an heir, an ancient enemy awakens. That's all you need to know. <laughs> this also has um, a lesbian romance, which I love. This has dragons. Like I said, there's a queendom, like it's so good. There's so many good aspects to this book and I just absolutely love it. And like I said, the audiobook is amazing. So of course I had to recommend this one too. So the next category is mystery slash thriller. So Sadie by Courtney Summers is an amazing audiobook. When Sadie's sister is found dead, she is determined to find the sister's killer and bring justice. And I highly recommend the audiobook because this has like a podcast element because we have Sadie's perspective and then we also have this person who is researching the case and has a podcast on it. So of course the podcast element of the book just makes it really a really good audiobook. And I remember the audiobook having different sounds and stuff that enhance the experience. And I just remember it being such a good audiobook and I loved the story. I thought it was so well done. And the next book is The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware, which is a thriller. And this is about Rowan and Rowan is looking for a job and she ends up stumbling upon this ad for a live-in nannying post, which is not what she was looking for, but it sounds like an amazing opportunity. So she takes it. But what she doesn't know is taking that job will lead to a child being dead and her being in prison. So we know this from the start and the story is told from Rowan's perspective and she's writing letters to her lawyer from prison, telling her side of the story. So it's really interesting. I thought it was so atmospheric and the audiobook made it even more atmospheric. And yeah, I just really loved the audiobook. Okay, so the last category is nonfiction. Nonfiction audiobooks are definitely some of my favorites. So here are my top recommendations. So the first is Open Season, Legalized Genocide of Colored People by Ben Crump. So Jesse from Bowties and Books actually recommended this book on Instagram, I think. And they said like, everyone should read this. And I definitely learned so much from this book. Basically, Ben Crump talks about the justice system in America and how America is killing black people and justifying it legally. So it really exposes the flaws in the justice system in America. And Ben Crumbs talks about different cases for examples. And I just thought it was such a powerful read and obviously very informative. And like I said, I learned a lot from it. So highly recommend that one. And then I have to recommend In Order to Live by Yeon Mi Park. And this is about Yeon Mi Park who was living in North Korea and she managed to escape. Um, and obviously it wasn't an easy escape. So she talks about her experience living in North Korea and how she escaped and all the trauma that she went through. And it's a really hard read but it's really important and I read this like really early in my booktube days so maybe you remember it if you know my early videos but it's such a good book and I applaud anyone who is comfortable enough to you know be vulnerable with everyone and, and share their traumas to educate and it's just amazing. So the next recommendation is Becoming by Michelle Obama which is such an amazing and inspiring audiobook. This is narrated by Michelle Obama and Michelle Obama's voice is so good and this book is actually a memoir so it's just about Michelle Obama's life, how she got you know to meet Barack Obama, how she got into politics, how she's had to deal with racism in America and so many things that she's had to deal with in her life and she is just such an inspiring person to me so I I thought this was such an amazing read and I just loved listening to Michelle Obama in my ear. <laughs> like I said, it was inspiring, it was comforting and yeah, just so good. So then my final recommendation is Sorted, Growing Up, Coming Out and Finding My Place by Jackson Bird. So this audiobook is narrated by Jackson Bird himself, the author. So once again, I just love that. And it is a memoir about Jackson coming to terms with himself and coming out as a transgender man. Obviously everyone's different, everyone has different experiences and especially minority groups, I think it's so important to take the time to listen to them and I loved this because it was just so powerful. Once again I admire anyone who is able to be so personal publicly because that's obviously really scary so I thought it was so good. I learned a lot and yeah so these are all my audiobook recommendations. I would love to know your top audiobook recommendations in the comments and if you made it to the end of this video put a headphones emoji in the comments. Thank you so much to Audible once again for sponsoring this video. Don't forget you can visit audible.com slash books with Chloe or text books with Chloe to 500 500 to get your 30 day free trial. If you're looking for more content from me, I have a Patreon where I upload extra content like extra reading vlogs. We do a monthly live show. We do a monthly buddy read. That is always linked in my description. I have my other channels, Journal with Chloe and ASMR with Chloe. And if you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, my handle is at Books with Chloe. So yes, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a good day and night and I'll see you in my next one. <laughs>